Hey everybody, Melissa here from Scribbleworthy. I have a slightly different kind of video for you today. It's a little um, exciting for me anyway. Uh, but before I get into that, I just want to discuss briefly uh, the anthem or the backbone of my little production here. Um, when you enter the planner world, you will click quickly be inundated via Facebook, Instagram, wherever you are. If you're uh, following those networks, you'll quickly come across people who just can, you know, toss a hundred dollars at a sticker order or have a thousand dollar purse that they carry their planner in. They may work really, really hard to get the money to do those things. I'm not here to judge people who can do that. However, I want to make sure that people who can't make those choices, can't splurge on things, still get to enjoy this world, this planner journal world. Um, I focus my Etsy shop, my stickers on um, being somewhat budget friendly. I mean, to the, to the best of my extent, I want to try and of course supplement my income and my family because we have a tight budget. But I also want to offer people who are also on a tight budget the ability to get um, products that they want at a more reasonable cost. Uh, so I'll sell smaller sets or, or, you know, you want something customized, I won't charge you extra. There's a lot of things that I, I try to do to keep my cost down because that's a focus of mine. Having said that, going forward, I want you to understand that most of my choices are going to be budget savvy choices. I may find something on sale somewhere. I will let you know where I found it and how much it cost me so you can see if you can get it for that price. That doesn't guarantee like if I buy something at Staples for two dollars that you're going to go to your Staples and find it for two dollars. But um, it gives you hope. It gives you an idea. And if I can find a link to the item online, I will provide it to you as long as it's within that uh, budget. I mean, I may provide you the link um, anyway, <laughs> but I will let you know if you can also get it online for that uh, inexpensive price. So without further ado, I have a small haul. I went to Staples this weekend and I just wanted to see what I could find that was either already inexpensive or on sale. I have my receipt here. I took pictures of everything so I could um, point out if they were on sale or if they were uh, regularly at that price. So first I'll start off. Uh, these are the Energel, Energel Pearl Liquid Gel Ink Pens. They have a medium tip. They come in a blue, pink, and purple. I'm pretty sure the ink color is going to also be, Let's see if you can see that. The colors of the pens. I'm excited. I'm wondering if the ink is going to be um, like kind of pearlescent. Probably not, but the, the pens themselves are pearlescent, which is cute anyway. So I found these in Staples and the three pens were five dollars. They were on sale. Uh, it doesn't tell me what the original price was, but they were on sale in my Staples for five dollars for the three pens. Um, and since you get three different colors and one of them is kind of a um, universal color, you can use you know blue on anything, this is a decent deal. Energel pens are surprisingly uh, expensive. Excuse me. When you talk a lot on these videos, your throat gets so dry. <laughs> I watch um, Graveyard Girl Bunny. Uh, my kids actually love her too. And she's always doing sippy sippy and taking like a sip of drink. And we made made a, that into a thing at home where we'll do that and we'll say sipping, sipping and take a, a sip of drink. But um, I know why she does it. <laughs> when you're sitting in front of a video camera talking and talking so consistently, you need to occasionally take a sip of your drink. Okay. The next item I got is was not a sale item. So this was their regular price in my staples but it's a good deal for what you get and I also used a coupon. Anything that was regular priced, uh, this was on sale so I didn't get the discount, but anything that was regular priced I think the discount went towards. These 
are Papermate Inkjoy Quattros. I didn't even know these existed. I have the uh, Papermate Inkjoys and I'm sure if you haven't yet, uh, you can go ahead and click on my channel and find the video for that. If you want me, I'll link it down, uh, down below. These are the Inkjoy Quattros, which means, I don't know if you can see it in there, but each pen has four different inks, like a Coletto. I don't have any Coletto type pens. I have like these short kind of chubby fingers and hold it onto a big chunky pen. It's just, I am a mess when I use them and I try to write. My handwriting, I have to struggle to keep it neat to begin with, but this um, is, is a pretty thin barrel. So I'm excited to give these a try. And it comes with two that have blue, bat, black, red, and green. These two, which have a gray uh, grip. Then this one, I don't know if you can see, has a purple grip. And this one has like a teal blue. I think it's a lighter blue, a light green, a pink, and a purple. So you're getting eight different colors. It shows you the up here, the four colors that come in the pen with the purple barrel or grip. And then these are just your standard colors. Um, so this was $7.49. You get three pens, but you get essentially 12 different pens because there's 12 different ink cartridges here. So I thought for $7.50, that actually is a pretty decent price. And then I got 15% off of that, which was, they took off $1.12. Last but not least, I can't wait to try these. I really hope they are as good as other pens in this brand. A Stetler set of ballpoint medium tip pens in um, ballpoint medium. Oh, and an assorted 10 pack. I was trying to figure out what I had written there. So you get 10 different colors. Uh, they have that tri plus body, that three three-sided, I don't know if you can see, three-sided body. They do have, a, they say a medium tip and it comes in 10 different different colors and this was $3.99 on sale in my staples. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't say on sale. It says new price. I'm trying to look at the photo. This is the new lower price. Normally, they were $4.49 in my staples. These were on sale for $3.99, did I say? Yeah, $3.99. So for a total of, let's see, let's do quick math. This was, I bought other things there, so I didn't just buy these pens. I got a couple of pencil cases for my kids. They're already starting their back to school stuff, but I would say about nine plus seven is 16. I would say $15, roughly estimating, because I can't do math that quickly, uh, about $15 for three, six, 16 pens, but these three, like I said, are like four pens each. So let's see, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 25 essentially in cartridges for $15. So that's less than a dollar a pen. I'm going to count each of these cartridges as like its own pen because, you know, I mean, it may be a little bit less ink, but it's still, you can buy them, the Inkjoy Minis, and you would count each of those little minis as a pen, right? So yeah, 15 bucks for that many pens, and they're all good name brands. I'll turn them around so you can get a good shot again. I hear wonderful things about Pentel Energel, and I have yet to try them. And then uh, Papermate Inkjoys, which were passable. They're not the best of pens, but they were totally passable. They are all uh, medium tips, so about a millimeter each. So if you like finer tips, these are, are not uh, in that range. I think the general consensus is the one millimeter tip is kind of like the um, mid-range. Not everybody likes it, so that's the ones that are discounted. A lot of times, though, you can buy a medium tip pen, and the style of the pen will generate a finer line and it's 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 um negligible as far as fine tip and medium tip so all right i think i said plenty now i'm sure this video is going to be way too long for just a little synopsis haul and uh rundown but i'm gonna go ahead and um 
put some links down below. I'll write all the information down below so you know how much these all were, what they're called. And um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.